Okay, so I'm going to go through my bag real quick and I'll show you what I have in it. We'll start with my cook system, which is an MSR Pocket Rocket 2. I carry a coffee, see the sun, a coffee cup, a little scraper for my food. I'm going to clean out my pot and my pot, which I got this back in 2016 at Neil's Gap. And it's served its purpose. Uh, I carry my titanium spoon, a knife that I actually found on Katahdin. Um, bear bag, uh, rope in my bag, old Sea to Summit bag that I use for my food bag, I'll ship honey, hot sauces, creamer, sugar ahead so I don't have to break up and buy too much of that. I always bring plenty of Ziploc bags for trash. Um, I'll ship my coffee and some fruit drinks ahead. Um, this is usually some of the stuff that I'll carry in my food bag, but this is not what I'll be having with me. I like oatmeal in the morning. I usually eat two or three packets of that. I bring dehydrated food. I mix it in with it. Um, that's pretty much what I carry in my food bag, which would be in my backpack. Um, my brain, I keep odds and ends in it. Nothing too big. Um, the pack I use is an Exos 58. This is my seat pad. I have a tent, which is a river country one person tent. I carry my filtration for my water. Um, which is a hanging system, gravity fed system, so I don't have to focus too much on filtering my water. It kind of does it on its own. Um, when I stop to set up camp or if I stop on the side of the trail, it's a pretty quick, painless process. Um, that's what I carry on the outside of my bag. Um, hiking poles. Inside my bag, I'll have my clothes bag in here. I carry my puffy coat in this bag. Also, doubles as kind of like a pillow if I wanted it to. When I'm not using my puffy, it scrunches down really small inside my bag. Um, I use a trash compactor bag to line my bag. Yeah, my bag is sprayed down, but nothing is 100% waterproof, especially when you're hiking. Um, I carry an electronic bag, which has my rechargeable earphones, a 10,000 ma and a 6,000 ma battery pack. One is solar uh, rechargeable if I'd like it to be. Usually I'm not sitting in one place long enough for it to charge, but Cables, stuff like that, that stays in that bag, which, thank you, Professor and Cindy, you guys made these bags. Um, toiletries, uh, fucking antibacterial, handy, biodegradable wipes. Um, clothes bag, which I haven't put my clothes in yet. Um, rain gear, which is, consists of an umbrella, my pack cover, and I keep this stuff. I don't always use it, but sometimes I do. Um, a sleeping pad, it's got a R value, R value 1.3, which has suited me good. Um, luxury item another pillow. Um, this is a Columbia rain shell. This is the raincoat that I rock while I'm out there in the rain. Um, and then, 
very bottom. I keep this kind of like a bug out bag I got for free swag. I use this as my sleeping bag bag. I also sometimes just stuff my sleeping bag into the bottom of my bag so I don't have to pack it and unpack it every morning. Sometimes it's just easier that way. Also, I've been known to leave my pack, hang it up into the woods, beat feet into town, get my resupply through, and use this to carry all my stuff back to the trail. Um, you asked about sleeping bags. You guys are talking about a zero or a tile, a zero or a five degree if you're from San Antonio. I could actually totally see you want in that bag because it'll be chilly if you're not used to the cold. Um, I use, it is an L.L. Bean Adventure 25 degree bag. Um, it's got a little pocket in it so I can keep my water filter warm throughout the night so it doesn't freeze. Um, I tend to sleep with my base layer on. Um, sometimes even with my puffy on. It will sometimes get that cold. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for what I carry in my pack. And this has gotten me through a lot. Um, and that's pretty much about it, man. Uh, later.